Can you come and do me a favour? Can you can you just lightly press that button in? Just until and then hold it until it focuses. Yes. Look in that wee screen. Yeah. Am I in focus? Yep. Yeah. It's sharp. Yeah, it's good. Right, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to bring you a eye tutorial. So this is from a look I did a couple of months ago. Um, I asked on Twitter, my Twitter username is Jamie underscore Genevieve. And I asked on Twitter, what do you guys want to see? Because sometimes I don't know what to do. So when I asked, a few of you asked for, for this look from a wee while ago. Um, and it's using the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette. And I'm using a couple of new little techniques that I've picked up and a couple of the new Makeup Geek matte shadows as well. So this looks kind of perfect for New Year's Eve obviously, which is today. So happy New Year's Eve to everybody. Happy Hogmanay. And yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, just stay tuned. Probably turn off the Simpsons, eh? Yes, okay. Oh man, I should have cleaned. Okay, I'm gonna start off with soft ochre as always, but my soft ochre's actually dried up. So I'm gonna put one drop of Duraline by Inglot, which is basically like a kind of mixing medium and it just brings the product back to life. So I like using this with gel liner, MAC cream paint pots. I like using it with anything kind of liquid and you can also use it, I'm going to use it later as well and show you a different way. So I'm just going to, I put one drop in there and I'm just going to mix it with my little brush and it just kind of reactivates it so you get, you can actually finish your product because these always flip and dry out all the time, all the time. Okay, so I'm just using a layer all over my eye and underneath it as well. So I'm going to start with the shade Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to use my Smith 232 brush to pop that base on. So this is more like a base shadow. And I'm just going to use it to map out where my spotlight eye is going to go. And also to mattify down a little bit. I like to use the kind of side of the brush just to get the fade up to the brow. And obviously I've already done my brows. I've done them a little bit stronger than usual as well. Um, to go with my new hair, I've got darker roots. So you can afford to go a little bit darker, a little bit bolder than when I was a blondie. Okay, once you've got that kind of starting to look good, and this is one of my fave looks because you can be a little bit messier with this, it's quite a grungy look anyway. Um, I'm going to go straight in with Americano, which is a really, really dark shade. It's one of the Makeup Geek shadows as well. And one of the new matte shades, it's what I, I use it all the time. I absolutely love it, especially with my hair this colour. Um, it just seems to go really nice. And I'm just going to use the same brush there. And I'm just going to pack that one in the corners messily. Just using small movements from side to side just to get that starting to blend upwards. And I'm going to go right in my inner corner as well. And now I'm going to change my brush. I'm going to go in with the 230 brush from Smith as well. And I'm going to go in with the same shade but I'm going to go right underneath my eye. Get that smoke yo. Get that smoke, yo. God damn. Where's all my brushes? Now I'm going to go in with just a fluffy brush from Makeup Addiction and I'm just going to kind of start to blend that out. Now the brush I used with my soft ochre, I'm going to go back in with that just to soften the edges because it's got a little bit of paint pot on it still. It's got a little bit of soft ochre on it as well. It just kind of helps blend everything into my foundation. I'm going to go in with the blending brush again and I'm going to go in with the Dolce Vita palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of my favourite palettes. The only thing is it's all shimmer. So that's why I'm using my Makeup Geek mattes and I'm going to use this to kind of add some shimmer. So I'm going to go in with this shade here and the fluffier brush and I'm just going to connect the eye in the middle. And I'm going to blend out underneath as well. Now I'm going to go in with Corrupt Shadow by Makeup Geek which is just black and I'm going to use a tiny little Morphe M507 brush just to pack on the black on the outer corners of my eye. And inner corner. Now I'm going to go in with this slightly darker shade in the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette. And I'm just going to kind of blend that black out a little bit. 
with a look like this you're kind of constantly going back and forth kind of cleaning up as you go blending into the foundation i'm just going to use this brush to kind of bring this kind of wing out <laughs> i made a mistake what a mess right i'm just going to go in and finish what i'm doing now i'm going to go in with the inglot gel liner and i'm just going to intensify this look a little bit by adding the gel liner to my bottom lashes bottom light uh, bottom lash line and then i'm just going to wiggle the brush in between my lashes just to make sure my lower waterline is completely pitch black. Fab. That's honestly one of my favourite things to do in the whole entire universe. Now I'm going to go in with the Smish 220 brush. Smish? Smish? I'm going to go in with the Smith 220 brush. And I'm going to go in with the kind of warmer colour here. And I'm just going to use that brush on its side underneath my eye. Just to blend out that black. And I'd like to thank Samantha for teaching me how to use this brush. I'm going to do the same with the black shadow. I'm going to go back in with the Inglot Duraline and I'm going to get my little dropper and I'm going to pop it on top of this gold shade, it's dropping all over my leg. So I've got to put one drop on top of the gold shade in the Charlotte Tilbury palette and I'm going to use just a kind of small smudger. Who is that? And I'm just going to use... The... Hello? Hello. My dad just came in. Dad, I'm just going to finish filming. Um, sorry if you can hear my dad wrestling drop in the background, but they're best friends. So I've put the Dura line just on this kind of goldy shade and I'm going to use this little eyeshadow brush just to kind of mix it together until it's like almost like a paste. And then I'm just going to pop that on the spotlight of my eye. And this shadow is a really funny texture to use by itself. It's one of those ones that looks amazing in the palette, but it doesn't really swatch the same way. It's up to you, you can kind of pack it on top of a primer if you like, but I just think this is the, the easiest and quickest way to get a really nice result. Oh, I love it so much. Now, I'm going to use the lightest shade in the palette just to highlight my brow bone. So I'm just going to use a little eyeshadow brush just to do that. And that just kind of helps bring the highlight to join on to my actual highlight and it also helps blend the eyeshadow up a little bit see what I mean, it stops it from being too much I love that now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Intense Black Super Liner this is just a super easy felt tip liner and I'm just using that to get a nice liner on the top of the lid just like that oh crap, that was a bit much YOLO and that just kind of frames that eye Arrgh! I'm just going to go back into the kind of warmer shade in the Dolce Vita palette just to kind of soften the edges a little bit. I think that's me done. So I'm just going to go put a wee bit of mascara and lashes on and I'll be back to show you what it looks like at the end. And that is the finished look. So guys, that's the video done. I hope you liked this tutorial. Hope you learned something cool. Um, I really love the Charlotte Tilbury palette, so it's nice to show you something new that I've found. Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you bring in the new year in a great way, whether it's staying at home with your family and friends or going out. And I'll see you in 2016 with more videos. Bye!